this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of Demon Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. See, I feel like we might meet him in two episodes, like twelve, probably like the halfway point. Cause they all kinda maybe need to come together and like, I don't know talk about their encounters something I don't know why it just tastes like it tastes like a freaking water down Powerade God, that, mm mm. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Oh, mm -mm, cause that's the brick wall. Excuse me. Until he pop until he manages. Yeah, because no, he's almost gone. Now please land safely. Okay. 
health in the Sorry, no. <laughs> Only Nezuko would have time to bat his head. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> Now all this is is around the fucking kickball. So I saw her. Then she might kill her one strike. Oh, damn. That could have been her head. Basically, by the time.
Helium explodes. Oh! Damn. Okay. That's a nice way to die. I mean, she died better than dude, I'm just saying. Well, you have your blood, at least. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> well, you're back to crawling, unfortunately.
an asshole too. Oh my god, he's so mean to him. I think she's going to hug you, too. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, she might win the award for best girl this year between her and Raftalia. So cute. Mm. But you would rather her be with you, right? She wants to be with you. They're a package deal. They always got to be together. Well, I'm kind of hoping we, you two get to see them again.
South, South, East. Oh, he freaking worse than Moroku. I, mean, <laughs> I, I understand that. Yes, he wants to act like every freaking cute girl he meets. Like, oh, hey, marry me. He a little bit of Brock and a little bit of Moroku. Uh, to marry him before he dies because you never know how long it's going to be until he possibly dies. But I don't think he, he ain't going to die. No, he's going to be fine. But I I'm glad that he finally met up with someone technically. <laughs> Even though they're not really going to talk until next week. But seeing um, what this makes us pass with Lady Tomorrow was really nice. Because I had, throughout when we finally, when we first met them, I kept wondering, are they ever truly going to show him when he was possibly going to be dead, going from a human to a demon? Even though they didn't really like show that transitioning, they're just showing the last few moments of his life as a human before she did everything and eventually became her apprentice it's really nice but i'm just hoping that they'll you get to see each other again i mean it's weird that they're now going to leave because of reasoning it's just possibly maybe would they see each other again i mean she's still like she's important to the plot but who knows how long it could be until tanjino and Ezeko see them again so, I could say maybe halfway through the second half of the show before, like, it ends, maybe. Not, like, last three episodes. Maybe Okay, I mean, but yeah, dude, blonde hair dude, he is a little, <laughs> he a little pussy, he a pussy bitch, but I mean, we haven't seen him fight because, you know, we're focusing on Tanjino you know, with this series, so since he is now gonna be in an episode with Tanjino, you know, we're probably gonna see him fight, and I don't think he's gonna be that good at it, so um, I'm also hoping that, you know, dude, who has the forehead? He comes next week. So that he can help, maybe. I don't know, because this could go one of two ways. Really, really good or really, really bad. And I think because, you know, the blonde hair guy is here, it's going to go really, really bad until Tanjino, you know, like, has a really good idea to kick some ass and ish. But, I, I, you know, mm, I felt bad for him. Honestly. Really, really bad. He just seems like, oh god, he reminds me of another character besides freaking uh, Brock and Moroku. He kind of reminds me of Wes's face from My Hero, who's always afraid to go in battle because he's like, oh my god, we're gonna die. And it's like, no, if you were confident about this and then yourself, you ain't gonna fucking die. <laughs> and so I'm guessing he's really gonna get that courage, like, at a moment, possibly when he sees Tanjino fight, and then he's just gonna be like, yeah, we're not gonna die, we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> and then he might get, like, a cut, and then he, he might, like, be really, really upset about his cut, I don't know. But he just seems like that character who is just really afraid of anything and everything of a demon, while there are characters who, when they see a demon, yes, they're afraid at first, but then eventually they're going to get the fact is, this is a kill <clears throat> or be killed situation. Either one of us is going to make it out of us, it, and it's definitely going to be the person who is going to kill the demon. 
sometimes it ain't like that. But Tanjiro has some, like this aura and appeal to him that he's always confident. Even though sometimes he does mess up with certain things, he still will survive in the end. Not only because he is main character, but blonde hair dude, I'm not really 100% sure until we get to next Saturday and see how he fights because Tanjiro fights good. We don't know about this dude. And hopefully everyone else gets to finally also come together. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Demon Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.